Today we're going to explore the difference between the fixed and the growth mindset. I'll illustrate why having a fixed mindset is so detrimental and we'll also look at how parents, teachers, and even sports stars like LeBron James are unknowingly fostering this type of mindset. Alright, so let's jump right into this. Stanford psychologist Carol Dweck has been studying the concept of the fixed versus the growth, growth mindset for the past or for over 20 years. She wrote a book entitled Mindset, The New, Psycholo the New Psychology of Success back in 2006. Um, and in it, she describes that the view someone adopts for themselves, whether that be fixed or growth, has the ability to profoundly affect the way that a person leads their life. It can shape everything from how well you do in school, uh, to the relationships that you foster, and even your physical and emotional health. Dweck and her team found that people with a fixed mindset believe their intelligence or personalities are set in stone and that they can't be changed. They see that uh, taking risks or failing at something as a possibility of uncovering inadequacies and they take failure really personally. On the other hand, people with a growth mindset they believe that their efforts and practice lead to personal growth and that failure is actually an opportunity to learn. In one study, Dweck and her colleagues gave a couple hundred ad adolescent students this moderately challenging IQ test um, and then offered two different types of praise. One set of praise was uh, for talent and one was for effort. So uh, one went like this. Um, wow, uh, you really got a great score, you must be smart. And the other praise was, you must have really worked hard at that. So students that were praised for being smart didn't have a desire to take a more challenging test when asked uh, to do a second test. Whereas 90% of the students that were praised for their efforts wanted to attempt the more challenging test um, after the first test. So then the same group of, of students, of 400 students, they were given a much harder test um, to see the effects that failure would have on the two sets of students. What's fascinating is that the kids that were praised for being smart at first didn't think they were smart anymore. They had this mindset that they were already deficient. On the other hand, the students that were praised for their efforts voiced that they simply needed to try harder next time. So I have a three-year-old son, um, his name's Rafa, and he absolutely loves playing with Legos. He builds all these, these crazy structures, uh, and it's really amazing to watch his mind working. And before I read uh, Dweck's book, I, I would say things to him like, you know, you're so talented or you're so smart uh, for building the Legos, uh, but I really had no idea how, how detrimental these phrases were. And you know, now I'll say things like, you know, it's great that you built that Lego structure, you've been practicing a lot, or something like, you know, you're really doing a great job learning how to swim, you've, um, you've been putting in a lot of effort. You know, and I think early childhood goes fairly similarly for a lot of kids, you know, where they get praised for being talented or being amazing uh, by their parents, uh, even for doing the simplest things at home. Then kids start going to school and teachers are unknowingly fostering the same type of fixed mindset by praising kids for being gifted or smart or talented as opposed to getting praised for effort, perseverance, or enthusiasm. So then you have uh, a kid that's developed this fixed mindset. You know, he, he comes home from school with an F on his report card, maybe for the first time, and he thinks to himself, wait, you know, like my parents always told me that I was amazing and that I was talented. You know, I, I don't want to take that subject anymore. It, it kind of, you know, in a way it just, uh, it shuts them down from, from thinking that, you know, that effort is going to lead them to um, better results. So then some of you go on to high school, or some of us go on to high school and eventually graduate from college uh, with someone that gives a commencement speech that likely goes something along the lines of, you know, follow your dreams. Um, but if you've been indoctrinated with a fixed mindset, you know, growing up, there's really no way on earth that you're, you're going to think about following your dreams um, because that might mean you'll fail. Uh, and uncover weaknesses to the world. And uh, so you're more likely than not thinking about playing it safe. And it's not only our fault uh, as parents or teachers that this fixed mindset is getting solidified in kids. Um, you know, the incorrect message is also being delivered by sports stars. 
uh, look at LeBron James, for example. Um, you know, when they won the championship recently, he tweeted that he was born with God-given talent. And, you know, the word talent somehow minimizes the word effort, right? It shuts, shuts the word effort out completely. There's, and, and, you know, there's really no doubt that LeBron James found uh, his strengths in the game of basketball. But he used those strengths uh, towards his goal of becoming the greatest basketball player that ever lived. And, you know, LeBron James uh, actually doesn't have a fixed mindset. If he did, I guarantee you, he would have never played basketball uh, past high school. So, you know, I, I think it's really unfortunate that, you know, he spreads a message of having God-given talent because kids grow up, you know, indoctrinated with a fixed mindset and they see, you know, sports stars, uh, they see LeBron James, um, you know, voicing God-given talent and they think to themselves that they could never, that they could never be like that. They think that, you know, they couldn't possibly excel at something if they weren't born with it. So in summary, people with a growth mindset have a passion for learning as opposed to a hunger for approval. And people with a fixed mindset believe that their intelligence or personalities or talents are fixed and unchangeable. They see taking risks and failing at something uh, as a possibility of uncovering their in inadequacies. Okay, so after watching this video, do you think that you have a fixed mindset or a growth mindset? And if you don't know for sure, I'm gonna include a link to a little four question test uh, to determine your mindset. It takes about a minute. Um, if you have a, thi a fixed mindset, it's okay. Um, it's not your fault, uh, as I've tried to illustrate, and um, there is a way to help you. All right, so check out the description below for tips on how to retrain your brain into a growth mindset. Leave a comment below with your thoughts, and if you know anyone that could benefit from watching this, please pass it along, and don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot more content coming for you. Thanks so much.